everyone, it was Cousin Tetrano. For the 1998 direct-to-video release, The Lion King 2, Symbols Pride, Mattel continued to uh, use their license to uh, manufacture action figures for the Lion King franchise, which they uh, started to do four years earlier, and of course these action figures for the uh, original animated classic have been extremely popular. In fact, they are around uh, until today in uh, big, big numbers. And of course, uh, most do not have uh, increased their value. But one set that definitely did increase its value was the biggest one that they released for Simba's Pride, which is this one. The Pride Land Adventure set containing eight different characters and this is a awesome set that does have of course it does have a few figures that are really nice if we um, compare it with this set from four years earlier for the original animated classic with the uh, deluxe action figure gift set and you can see a uh, couple figures are the same. So before we start looking at this Simba's Pride set, I would really recommend to uh, watch episode number 75, where I feature this set here, this big 1994 Deluxe Action Figure set, um, which I actually unboxed during the video and give you a detailed look on all of the figures uh, since um, uh, some of the figures that are included in the Simba's Pride set are exactly the same like in here. So, and we'll take a detailed look on these figures but first we look at the box. It's got the updated Lion King logo, Pride Land Adventure set. And down here it's Mattel's item number 69468. That's what you want to research uh, and look for on, online when you are trying to hunt down this set. Lovely artwork of Ko and Kiara, of course, uh, the two main protagonists of the film. Original retail value around fifteen dollars back then. And you can see this was uh, it's got discounted to fifty percent off. Went fully. Uh, try me, see Simba, hyena, and Pumba move. They didn't give the hyena a name, but we will later on see what uh, who of the three hyenas they did include. Here's the back. Uh, for description about um, uh, the plot for Simba's Pride. And you can see some other toys <clears throat> Mattel released back then, the Mini Pride Rock playset, which was uh, way smaller than the original, uh, which you can see here for the 1994 Lion King. And uh, of course, Mattel also did some plushies. The Thumbo Chiara plush is, is pretty cute. And we've got artwork of Timon and Pumbaa here. But this set has become very rare and valuable. Uh, in fact, I paid uh, $125 on eBay. And since this is my only one, I will not going to unbox this today. But we will still take a detailed look on uh, the figures, since um, half of the figures are actually the same, like in this set. And I'll be able to show you the action fig features anyway. You can also see um, uh, the package has been done uh, quite differently. This is basically a huge uh, blister card in there, so it's not it's not an insert like here, which you can slide out and then retrieve the figures without destroying the box. You'd have to 
destroy the box here completely in order to get the figures out. So we will not do this. We will look at the figures um, as they are here. Uh, first, let's start with Timon and Pumba. You can see uh, these are these remain unchanged from their 1994 versions. Timon has uh, its stripes on the back, uh, black tip at the end of the tail, and Pumba um, has an action feature. You push down on his mouth and then move the tail, and the mouth snaps open again. Needless to say, he looks very uh, movie accurate as well. His four legs are poseable. Then we have Rafiki. And Rafiki also has an action feature. Uh, first you insert his uh, stick into his left hand and then he has a button on his back that lets the arms move. This is also the same like on the 1994 figure. And then onwards to the hyena. You can clearly see if we compare the hyena with what's included in here, which has a fancy and bonsai. We can see that they actually use Fancy for the Simple Sprite set. Uh, Fancy has an action feature as well. Doesn't work too well in here because um, the plastic is rather tight uh, around it. But if you put down uh, on the main, the head and the front legs move. And then we have Zazu, actually not an action figure because this is one molded as one piece without any articulation, uh, no action feature whatsoever. This is also the same like in the 1994 set. Uh, no changes on Zazu either. But now it gets interesting. Now we have the uh, uh, two new figures, the two new characters for Simba's Pride. In here we have Kobo as a little cup. You can see they match the color very well uh, compared with the animated feature. Uh, the face is done really nice, so it's clearly recognizable. Uh, you can even see um, his two lower teeth in his open mouth and he's kind of in a running pose. Kiara has an open mouth as well and like Kobu no action features. These figures are one piece it's kind of a uh, uh, these are kind of rub rubber figures uh, somewhat of a soft of plastic but also highly uh, movie accurate and they do scale well with the other characters as you can see. And now the last character in here is the uh, largest one. It's a little uh, adult Simba is a little bit over four inches. The smallest is uh, Timon, just over uh, uh, two inches. Uh, Kobo and Kiara are also around the same size, around six centimeters, just over two inches. And Simba has actually been redone for this set. And I'm going to show you what's different. 
Now, of course, this is this wasn't the first time that Mattel re released an adult Simba action figure. Four years earlier, they had the fighting action adult Simba that came uh, uh, that got actually uh, already back then got released in various sets. This is the individual release, but he was also um, featured in uh, gift sets, not in this one, but. And other smaller sets, and to show you, I have a loose fighting action adult symbol from 1994. You can see the the first thing that they changed is that they updated his mane. It's a, it's also a different mold, but what you can clearly see is that the color is different. So in the Simba's Pride set, Simba has the more movie accurate red mane, and this is great that they finally took that into account. And look at the face, look in his mouth, he finally has upper teeth. The version that released four years earlier here does not have upper teeth, it's not as detailed. The face is very handsome, uh, truly like the uh, character that I love so much, Adult Simba is truly one of my favorites in the entire uh, Lion King universe, because he looks but handsome and very regal. And the action feature on both figures are the same. You push a button on his mane, and then the front legs click and the mouth opens and closes. This was already the little tour of this set. A set it is quite expensive, it's gone over $100 if you happen to find this. It has become quite rare. But since I love Simba's Pride just as much as the original animated classic, um, I love this set. Just as much as this one, the big one for the uh, 1994 animated feature. And I'm really, really happy that I have almost the entire uh, Mattel Lion King action figure together by now. That's not the Roaring King set, that's the one I'm still looking for, which was sold at Disney World in very small numbers and that uh, adult. Simba and Scar with sound functions, slightly larger than these action figures, uh, and you were able to battle them against each other. Uh, so this is, I know this is pretty, mu pretty much impossible to find, yet I still do not give up my hopes. Uh, hopefully I'll eventually find them. So thank you so much for watching this episode. And I'll see you, of course, next Saturday with the next episode of Kitwana's Toys. Goodbye!